Hello, welcome to my presentation in Electronic Village, TSOL 2021. My name is Min Sun Kim. I'm happy to present for this year's EV and my title is Microsoft Teams Ways to Create and Maintain Positive Peer Connections. Today, I'm going to talk about what MS Teams is and why to use MS Teams for peer connections. I will also talk about some key features of MS Teams and share some example activities you can try with your students. With the shift to online learning during the COVID-19 pandemic, students are often found to feel isolated. They want to be connected with each other. Research shows that belonging and connection in the virtual classroom contribute to success and well-being of our students, particularly during the pandemic. So how can we create and maintain positive peer connections for asynchronous virtual instruction? I tried to look for something simple and easy to use to connect students during their distance learning and ended up with MS Teams. MS Teams is a basically communication platform developed by Microsoft. It is part of the MS365 family of products with the familiar tools including Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and others. According to their website, in MS Teams, you can meet, chat, call, and collaborate with everyone all in one place. So why to use MS Teams for peer connections? As a communication hub, it is simple enough and easy to access and use. Most students have to deal with different apps for their online learning. One of my students told me that she had to learn more than 10 apps for her online classes. So I wanted to avoid something complicated. In addition, MS Teams is free since most institutions support MS365 for their students and faculty members and many of them are already MS users. MS Teams integrates well with other LMS such as Brightspace, Canvas, Blackboard. They have convenient features like a mix of different apps. Students can communicate and collaborate with team members in group chats or video conferences with a single click of button. They can locate, share, edit files through other 365 tools. They don't have to make a separate Zoom link or Google Docs. You can do all these on one platform with Teams. Here is what my students had to say about using MS Teams. With MS Teams, it is very easy to communicate with team members and buddies when doing activities. The tools in it are rich. A cross-platform application, easy to navigate, MS Teams. A format similar to text messages that allows us to more efficiently share our ideas. I have used MS Teams before, which is now familiar with me. But there are always students who do not know much about the app, like, I don't really know how to use it. MS Teams is quite straightforward and intuitive, but before asking students to use it for group activities, I suggest you teach them how to use its key features with their demos. MS Teams has different demos on their basic features, including how to use MS Teams step-by-step -step with great examples. And you as the owner of the team, you can learn how to create each team and make public or private channels under the team. Here are some screenshots from their demos. Once again, it is important to teach students how to use its basic features or what kinds of features are there. One student noted that I assume my body doesn't know how to use MS Teams, resulting in a communication issue. Students also often try to make separate Zoom links even on MS Teams, not knowing the fact they switch from chat to video conferencing with a single click of a camera icon in the upper right corner of MS Teams. Again, in MS Teams, you can do everything in one place. 
no need to get on a separate Zoom call or make a separate Google Docs. Next, for distance learning, you also need to consider time differences among students. Another student noted that if you want to speak to someone when there is a time difference, it is hard. So make sure you teach them how to turn on the notifications. Then students can reply quickly when someone messages them on MS Teams. Now I want to share some of my activities for creating and maintaining peer connections for my virtual American language and culture class for international students. I have paired them in class buddies and assigned different activities so that they interact with each other using MS Teams throughout the semester. We do group project as our major assignment and in such a case, I designate private channels for each group so that group members can work together in their channel. I can manage members for each channel and oversee how they are doing as groups by checking their channels as the owner of the channels. As their demo shows here, you can create a team for your whole class section and under each team, you can also make private channels where only the invited members can work together. I first created a team for my English 111 class and then created each channel under the team for everybody group and urged them to use this app to communicate with peers. Demos on the key features are also introduced to make it easier for them to use it. When your institution supports MS365, you can just download its desktop version or mobile one and start creating teams for your sections. You can add your students simply with their names or email since they are already in the system. Like this, they have a class template. Here is an example of a group channel for Project 2 in my course. It is set private, so the members invited to this channel by the instructor, the owner, can access it. But as this example shows, once again, some students still created a separate Google Docs file to co-author their project. But they don't have to. They just need to share and work together on a file using files over there. But they managed to meet in MS Teams without making a separate Zoom link. Here again, one group made a separate Zoom link for their live meeting but they can just click the camera icon in the upper right corner to meet in MS Teams. So giving information on what features they can use in MS Teams is important. This is a great example of using MS Teams. One group invited me to their meeting in MS Teams and shared their screen to show their co-authored document. It exactly shows one of its greatest advantages doing everything together in one place. To conclude, most of my students showed a high level of satisfaction with MS Teams and they like to be connected with each other, including the instructor, and to have a sense of belonging even during online learning. And besides peer connections, you can use MS Teams to connect with your students as an instructor. Most of our students feel more comfortable about texting rather than emailing the professor or having face-to-face -face virtual meetings. So I encourage them to contact me via chat during office hours or anytime they have questions so that I can promptly respond to them. My students indeed feel that they are connected with me. If you have questions, please email me or join me for the synchronous discussion session. Thank you for watching. Their website has tons of information and tips for using MS Teams.